All right, so I've finished the top edge of the mask. So it's sewn all the way above here, then it comes down to here and it ends on this side. Now I'm going to flip um, to the side. This is technically the side that will be like um, facing your, uh, like on your face actually, because if you look, this is the side that has the casings folded over. You don't wanna see that on the outside. So um, we have to now put our elastic through the casing that we made. Um, so you're almost done here. You're going to take your elastic and you could take the, um, you know, the large strip of it. We're going to cut it to make it smaller in a minute and you're going to push it through the casing and you might have to wiggle it a little bit to get it to actually go through the whole thing. Um, kind of play with it. See if you can grab it on the one edge. Like I'm seeing it come out this side here. I can pull on this side and, and now it starts to pull through. So you might have to adjust a little bit. So this is the um, kind of like the tricky part. You have to make this fit your face perfectly. So what I do is I just guess at first. So I'm going to take um, my big long strand here. I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to put a pin in it to keep it in place for now. Okay, I want to do one side at a time. Um, so let's say I have it here like that. Now even though my big strand here is hanging off the side, that's okay. I'm going to leave it like this because I want this piece, so this seam here, to be in the center of my face. So I'm going to put it on my face and I'm going to hold it where I would want it. And I'm going to put this ring that I just made, I'm going to put it around my ear. Okay, and now that feels actually pretty perfect because it's like the 10th one I've made. But you guys might have a couple tries at it before you you figure out what you like. Um, once you have this loop in a good spot where it's like not pulling too much, it's not too loose and you're like, oh, I like it there, you're gonna leave your pin in it there and then I'll show you in a minute how to sew it. But basically all I did to make this ring was to, um, I took my two pieces, I'll take the pin out and show you for a second. I took the two pieces here of um, elastic and I just folded them over each other and just had them so that they're laying flat. This extra is gonna get cut off in a minute. Um, but for now, leave it on there, and you just have two like layers, and they're laying perfectly flat on top of each other. Make sure that your elastic isn't twisted at all. Um, and like I said, you can make it a little smaller, a little larger, keep adjusting it until you think you like it. Okay, when you have it on this side, and you like it in this spot, you can snip off the extra, and then you can do the same thing on the other side, but this side of um, with your elastic. Make sure you like it when you're when you're ready. Then you're gonna sew it after, but don't sew it until you have both sides adjusted and you're like, okay, I like that. Then we'll do the last step is actually sewing the elastic together. Um, so I will show you in the next video what that looks like.